So if you've ever wondered if you can achieve like a, you know, everyday use routine sort of hairstyle with the Dyson, well, the short answer is yes. The long answer is, well, I guess you'll have to see how, but yeah, you can, <laughs> absolutely you can. Now, I will say this, it took me about a month to figure out how I can do this hairstyle, but I'm so happy, so happy to report that it's achievable, first of all, Second of all, it takes 10 minutes. When I say that I'm the happiest gal in the world once I figure this out, oh my God. Also quite a big deal because if I wouldn't have figured that out, it would have been the worst investment I have probably ever made. Except that one time I got a Renault Twingo and that shit was broken out of the door. Never get a Twingo. Uh, they look cute, but they're not. Okay, so let's get into it. What are the steps to achieve that one second you saw of the hairstyle in the end? It's easy, I'm telling you. I promise you, it takes exactly 10 minutes, at most 15. It depends on how wet your hair is. So if it's like dryish, like now, for sure 10 minutes, not longer, not a second longer. Now, I sometimes like do it when it's super wet and then, then it takes a bit longer because there's more water in my hair. But regardless, first step always is a bit of hair oil just because my hair is frizzy, like it's not, my hair is not straight by the way, like it's wavy, siding on curly, but not really, it's just wavy and frizzy and just, you know, none of the good stuff. So if I were to leave it to air dry, it wouldn't be such a great look for me. You can already see, like I haven't done anything to it. This is, this is what it is. It's not, it's not cute. So I'm gonna use this Coconut Neve Like a Virgin hair oil. I've tried it a few times already. The first time I did it, warning, I didn't like really spread it across my hands and I had like a really oily clump here and I felt that the entire week. I don't like a lot of product in my hair so just make sure you really spread it across your fingers and then go in little by little over your hair so that you can make sure that it's like really spread out and doesn't like clump up in one area. Now, before this, I did use the Olaplex oil heat protectant thing. That one's really nice as well. Love it, lasted me for a year, but like pretty intensive use. It's really good, it's a tiny little thing. Anyway, that's, that's got my vote too. I just wanted to try something else out and over Christmas, I got a lot of ads from this brand on my Instagram, so I fell prey to it, obviously, as you do. So now I'm giving it a whirl. It's nice, it smells good, and it does feel good on the hair, just make sure it's not like super clumpy in one area. Okay, next we do a quick little brush through the hair, just to make sure there are no knots. Okay, okay, for this hairstyle, we'll need this brush. It's this one that has no things at the top. What are they called? Like bull points at the top so not we're not using this I don't know what they include both in the kit to be honest this one is for like coarser hair this one's for finer hair I will never use this I have no use case for this so it's really just sitting pretty in the box uh, never to be used again unless someone you know borrows the Dyson but who who do that my boyfriend no so besides this attachment you need the blow dryer attachment thing so we're gonna start with this we have it on high intensity and then a high heat as well, all the way up, and then you start blow drying. For my hair specifically, I don't like that these bits here are super curly. And I like to keep these as wet as possible for as long as possible so that I, I dry them directly with this. We're not gonna, I'm not gonna touch the, these front bits for now. So what I'm gonna do is really just go back at the back of my head dry everything there, make sure the roots are dry. That's kind of the whole purpose of this attachment for me. The rest of the hairstyle happens with that brush attachment. So I'll blow dry the back of my head, dry the roots, and then I'll be back. <laughs> okay, now, once you look like Hagrid, you know it's time for the brush. <laughs> Switch it out quickly and Brush your hair again because this is knotted up pretty bad. Um, you don't want that. Now you could go ahead and like really separate your hair, like do half and half, but that would defy the point of quick and easy. So I don't do that, but you could technically. So as I said, the most annoying bits of my hair are this. So what I do is I lower the intensity. So you go in the middle here but still full heat. It's hot, but it's not like flat iron 
hot, if that makes sense. And you just, I just go ham, cluster everything here, and then with tension, I'm just gonna slowly go through it. So don't rush this. For now, we're just gonna focus on the front parts of my hair, and then we're gonna really go ham. But for now, this is what I'm gonna do. So here's how. Now also go in the opposite direction. So wrap it up like this, always with tension. Beautiful already. Um, however, we're not done here, <laughs> so hold on. Not a good idea to put on lip gloss before blow drying your hair. <laughs> we're good now. Next. Okay, so once I have my front pieces done, it already looks so good by the way, but you know, like it's pretty straight. Like it's not flat iron straight, don't get me wrong, but it's, it's voluminous at least. And that's, that's a plus for me. Next step is the easy part. I love this. So still on high heat, medium intensity. What you're gonna do is first, go through the back here simply because these are again some of my most curly pieces and stubborn pieces and then after you quickly do that flip your hair flip your hair and then brush for like four minutes continuous brushing just well you'll see but yeah that's it like quick pow 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 done <laughs> easy peasy anyway here we go again these pieces here when you do them Try to hold as much tension as possible on the hair as you brush through it. That's gonna help a lot. Okay, great. I didn't spend more than a minute on this. So just do it really briefly. Just get the bigger kinks out. Now, this is the best part. Flip your hair over. Okay. Now, I'm not gonna be able to see you anymore, but I hope that's okay. Um, this part is self-explanatory. Just watch and then you'll see the thing. And enjoy the ride. It, it feels like a head massage, like a hot head massage. I love it. You should enjoy it too. Okay, see ya. All right. We're done. You ready for the moment of truth? It's gonna look a bit crazy at the first time, but just trust the process, okay? Okay, three, two, one. <sighs> Volume. That's why I love blow drying, like the majority of the hair upside down. You just get hella volume. Okay, now brush through it a little bit. Just look at these pieces. Amazing, I love it so much. It's so good. It's so good. It's so beautiful. Look at the look at the shine. Look at how majestic that is and how soft. It's so soft. Oh, amazing. What an amazing product. Anyway, happy I figured out how to work with it. Once you've brushed through it, well, really this is where I stop for like 90% of the time. But what I started doing recently, what you need is one of these like alligator claw clips, whatever you call them. <laughs> you need one of these. So this is only only if you want more curls in your hair and sometimes i want that but i only do this when i'm not in a rush to get out of the house and you know i'm not going to bed what i do is i take my hair loosely do like one of these little things put it around and then clip just the top of the hair you know like don't put too much pressure on the curl itself let me show you from the back Anyway, what this does is like, as the hair dries, because it's dry, but it's not like 100% dry, it's maybe like 98%, like the pores are still open, I can feel them. And if you put your hair like in a little shape, <laughs> it's gonna hold that shape, at least my hair does. When it dries, it holds the shape that it dried in. So, you know, I do this and then I leave it for like half an hour minimum, and then when I leave it out, it has like, Maybe it already holds it a little bit. It has like a nice curve to it. You know, it's not curly or anything. It's just a little, a little something. Let me see. Like it will hold the shape briefly, very briefly now, 
or maybe not at all. Anyway, it just adds a dent in it. Put it back. The idea is not to put it too tightly because I don't like tight curls, but you do what you want to do, you know? And honestly, that's it. That's the hair. That's the 10 minute routine with the Dyson. Amazing. I'm so happy with this thing. Because before I would blow dry my hair and that would take at least seven minutes. And then I had to straighten my hair and that would take at least another 15, if not 20, if not more, depending on how stubborn my hair was feeling. But with this, like it's, it's on the dot every time. It just takes a little bit longer or shorter, depending on how wet my hair is. But really, it's a no brainer. This thing, this thing is saving my schedule. That's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions regarding the air wrap. Happy to answer them. My whole thing is that I want things to be done quick and easy, as fast as possible. Minimal effort. I don't have time, nor do I want to give time to this task. You know, like it's already taking quite a lot of time out of my life as it is. So I don't want to spend more on my hair than I already am. And I thought that's what the Dyson was and that's why I bought it. And also obviously that it doesn't fry your hair as much. <laughs> and it did deliver. It just took a bit of time to get used to it. And I feel like that should lower the price a little bit. Like if your product is so difficult to understand, maybe lower the price. But that's just me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll keep experimenting and be back with another one soon. And until next time, take care.